All right, give me about five minutes-ish, and I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to find your next dream job or dream career. All right, so real quick, if you don't know, my name's Jordan Wilson, and I am the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people learn and leverage AI. We bring on expert guests almost every single day. Today, we had David Alto right there. So um, we talked about how you can use AI to land a new career. Um, and David is one of the most sought after people on LinkedIn uh, with uh, career advice. So uh, one of the one of our people in uh, the comments said, hey, how can you use ChatGPT plugins to help with this? So I wanted to make this video. So let's dive in and I'm gonna explain to you what we're doing. So you need to have, uh, so we're inside ChatGPT, you need to have the plus, the $20 a month account so you can use plugins. And for this chat, I have three different plugins enabled. Ambition, which allows you to search millions of jobs. Then I have Browser Op, one of my favorite uh, web-based plugins. And then I have another plugin here called, uh, where to go? Resume Copilot. So let's go ahead and start this. And I'm going to go ahead and explain as we do this exactly what we're doing. All right. So we're going to try to keep up. We're going to go a little quick here. So uh, essentially, um, asking this resume copilot, I, I'm saying I'm going to upload my resume and I need you to help me say what's good about it, what's not, and what should be improved. So what this plugin is doing, at least, is it's saying to use this link to upload my resume. All right. So that brings us uh, right here. And I'm going to go ahead and upload my resume. I'm going to click upload. Should just take a second here and it should be done. And then I'm going to go back into the chat GPT window um, and say that it's done. All right, so sorry, it's uh, by, by, by doing that, it uh, temporarily dropped me out of the window, but don't worry. All right, we're back, here we go. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, I uploaded the resume and then we're gonna get going. So, all right, it is processing. So give, give it a second here and it's uh, reporting back. All right, so now that Resume Copilot has my resume, it's asking for some more information. I'm gonna go ahead and enter it. So what I'm saying is using the Resume Copilot. So again, sometimes, especially when you're using plugin packs, which is what we teach in our free Prime Prompt, uh, <laughs> Prime Prompt Polish course. Uh, so just type PPP if you want access. So we always teach plugin packs, and a lot of times you have to tell ChatGPT, "Hey, use this." So essentially, what uh, use this specific plugin? So what I'm telling ChatGPT here is to use the Resume Copilot plugin and saying, make suggestions and improvements to my resume. And I'm saying, I like my resume to be better positioned to take on fractional CMO jobs as well as being an advisor or strategist in the generative uh, in generative AI. So I'm just, you know, not actually looking for this right now, but maybe I will be. So I'm letting ChatGPT know. So it's using, ChatGPT is using this um, plugin, the, uh, the resume co-pilot plugin, and it's giving me, which is great, it's giving me uh, suggested changes for my title, for my summary, um, and also explaining why. So that's that's super helpful. So you can see um, kind of it's it's going through here and making some top suggestions. So this is great because not everyone, as an example, can afford to hire someone. But if you give ChatGPT, you know, because uh, people to help you can be expensive. You know, some some people might charge a lot of money. Uh, but using the right plugins and knowing how to use them inside ChatGPT, uh, you can get some great insights and intel. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, using the Ambition plugin, please find me 10 different roles that may deal with generative AI. So right now, again, I'm connected to the internet, but I'm also connected to these plugins. And that's a big difference, and I'll explain. All right, so now you'll see, because I'm saying use the Ambition plugin, it is going to try to find me 10 different roles that may deal with generative AI. Um, and this, I mean, anyone can go here and, and use LinkedIn and type in, you know, what you're looking for. Oh, I'm looking to be a project manager or Indeed or, you know, Google Jobs, right? There's so many different job boards. But I'm going to show you here in a second why it's very powerful to do this entire process inside ChatGPT. All right, so you'll see here in a second. So it's also, it looks like anyways, it's using the information from my resume, which I'm based in Chicago. Y'all know this. So that's cool. I didn't even ask 
uh, you know, chat GPT or ambition this. Um, and it looks like we're still pulling from resume copilot as well. All of that information is staying here in the chat until chat GPT starts to lose some of that memory. Right. Uh, so it's automatically, um, finding different jobs that are in generative AI, um, that I might be interested in. So I'm, I'm already seeing a, a common, a common, uh, piece here. So I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, thanks. Please, uh, use the ambition plugin again and find uh, generative AI roles across the United States that may be best given my experience. Okay, now, now we're tapping into that. And I'm going to say, please avoid engineer roles and instead focus on roles, maybe more suited to marketing or CMM, uh, CMO, CMO roles, but that also require an understanding and experience in artificial intelligence, gen, AI, chat, GPT, et cetera. All right, so one thing I hate is typing live especially with my uh my camera set up here because I'm all I'm all cramped you know typing typing like a t-rex so uh I think you can already start to see uh kind of the power of this and I'll scroll down uh, and explain it but it can be so hard right unless you're hiring uh you, you know um a recruiter or unless you're working with a job placement agency it can be difficult and or expensive and very time consuming to go through your resume, understand what you're most qualified for, search millions of open jobs, and start filtering through all of them. So if you go through the process, I always start, uh, and this is what I teach people, when you're working with ChatGPT or any large language model, always start broad and then start to narrow it down because you always wanna see uh, where ChatGPT is going to take it because you can have a little bit more control if you refine it from there versus starting specific. All right, so let's go ahead and scroll down. So there is my prompt. And here we go. This looks great, right? So um, we're coming up with jobs and I could click these and, but I'm not actually gonna click them. I'm going to talk with ChatGPT. All right, so let's go ahead and look at some of these that may be most uh, relevant. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start typing here so we're not waiting uh, six minutes while I type. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, let's look at job Number one, demand marketing strategist. I'm going to say, please, please give. Uh, so I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say, based on my resume, please give me a a list of my five strongest qualifications and five areas where my background may not be suited for this position, right? This is great. This is the power of using multiple like career resume and web connected plugins within chat GPT. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you here in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this infuse media. Okay. And chat GPT is going to go ahead and, and start doing some of this. So now I'm going to go ahead and say, ready? Here's, here's the great part. Uh, I'm going to say, please use the browser op plugin to find Infuse Media's website. Then, given my resume and the job description, write a uh, cover, write a short cover letter and a LinkedIn message that I could send to someone at Infuse Media. I'm gonna say, please, Please keep it informal, light and conversational in tone. I'm going to say use copy writing techniques such as PASP. And uh, let's just do PASP. Perfect. So y'all just see what we did. We searched millions of jobs. I know 
based on my prompts that I've given chat GPT in the back and forth conversation that we've had, that this, uh, that this is a job that I'm probably highly, highly qualified for, right? Because they want generative AI experience. That's, that's one of the first things that this, um, that I'm most qualified for. So it's giving me a list of things that I'm qualified for. And again, this is going long, but what I would do as an example is I would use chat GPT because these five areas of potential mismatch, I already know looking at those, I know all those. So I would, I just haven't updated my resume accordingly. So I would say, Hey, chat GPT, update my resume for those five areas. Here's some quick bullet points uh, of my actual experience. So we're not making anything up, update my resume accordingly. And then bam, just like that, my resume is updated. I didn't have to do a lot of work. I'm doing it all within chat GPT. Um, so it's, it's retaining all of this information, right? Um, and then I also know, Hey, right away, here's, here's the areas that I'm most strongly qualified in. And just like that, because I'm using the browser op plugin, right there. Right. So, um, so it looks like it couldn't find, uh, infuse media's website. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, which normally the browser app plugin does a great job. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and rerun this quick. So let's go ahead. Normally browser app does a great job, uh, connecting. So I'm going to go ahead and say, here is their website. Please access via browser op and uh, do the cover letter and LinkedIn message, please. Okay, there we go. So now I'm actually giving the website. You know what? I test these plugins all the time. This white tail, don't just trust people blindly. Browser op is usually great uh, at querying the internet, uh, but for whatever reason, it couldn't find it. Uh, it couldn't find Infuse Media's uh, website. That's why I also, I mean, sometimes I put on the website, sometimes I just say, find it. Uh, cause I always like to test different, um, you know, different plugins and their capabilities. Um, so, uh, let's just go ahead. I'm going to go ahead. This is getting long. I'm going to pause it for about 10 seconds. All right. And, and, and we're back. Um, I just didn't want this to drag on for too long. So, but what happened here is it used the browser app, uh, site, uh, or plugin. It looked at infused media site and here, just like that. We are with the power of ChatGPT and the correct plugins. We are taking specific information from their website, right? Um, writing the 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 um, the cover letter just like I asked, and it's taking specific details that aren't even found on the job posting, and it's incorporating, as you'll see here as I scroll, my background in my resume into the cover letter, which is great, right? Because people are always like, oh. You know, if you have chat GPT, write something, it sounds robotic and it's, it's, it's not specific and it's wrong. No, it's not. You just have to know how to use plugins, right? I just showed you right there. And then the LinkedIn message right there. Boom. Perfect. Using information from my resume, the job posting, their website, and, um, also, so wait, what was it? My, my resume, my background, the commands I'm giving, uh, the, the commands I'm giving, the job posting, their website, my websites, everything's in there, y'all. And it used the PASP technique to write those messages. All right, this was officially the longest AI in five ever, but I think it's an important one. So if this was helpful, let me know in the comments. Um, and I did an AI in five yesterday with no audio, so I feel bad about that. So as a reminder, please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter uh, where we bring you the best and the latest in generative AI. All right, thanks y'all. See you back for another AI in five and it'll be way quicker.